Okay, eighth graders, because I sent out so many different yearbook forms, I want to make sure you really know how all of this is going to work. So first, we've got this eighth grade yearbook quote form. This one's pretty simple. Fill out this form and return it to me by Monday, March 1st. This is the deadline for everything, Monday, March 1st. So first of all, you need to pick a quote that is appropriate for school. That means there's no foul language. It's not going to hurt anybody's feelings. It's not offensive. If you're really not sure about it, chances are you probably shouldn't use that quote. If you have questions about it, you can bring it to me. Your quote can reflect who you are, what you are interested in, how you feel about the world, but think carefully about what you choose because this is going to be in the yearbook forever. So it's going to make some statement about you. You're going to write your full name, your first and last name here, and your quote here. I want you to check for spelling and cite your source or the person who said the quote. Second form, this is the middle school yearbook sponsor form. Um, a sponsor message is something that your grownups or a, another family member might want to write to you to include in the yearbook. So this form is for your grownups. Um, this is optional and it costs $10 to have a personal message in the yearbook. It's at the back of the yearbook. Um, you can pay for this with a check or with cash made out to, uh, a check made out to Haldane Middle School Yearbook, and you need to return this to me by Monday, March 1st. So your name is gonna go here, and your grown-up will write your message here. Next, how to order the yearbook. So the easiest way to do this is ordering online. Um, you're gonna go to the Justin's website. If you click on the form that's in the email, this will bring you right to the website. You could also type this in if you're using your paper form. You're gonna follow the steps here and you're going to check out at the end. This is the only way to guarantee that you're going to get a yearbook. In years past, we've ordered lots of extra yearbooks, but I had too many left over last year. I don't wanna waste them. So I need a final count of how many yearbooks we'll need by Monday, March 1st. So please get your order in. If you want to pay by cash or check, you can do that also, but it needs to be in my mailbox by Monday, March 1st. Okay, books are gonna get to you in June. If you don't order a yearbook by March 1st and you end up saying, hmm, now I want one, there's a slight chance we'll have some extras that I've ordered. You can buy one, but it's on a first come first serve basis. So once they run out, that's it, you're out of luck, okay? so. Order it early by Monday, March 1st. Now, this is where we get complicated. Submitting photos for the MS yearbook. These are due Monday, March 1st. Now, in order for this yearbook to be complete and to include everybody, I need these pictures from you. One baby picture, only one. Pick the best one, the cutest one of you one current selfie and this should be appropriate for school you shouldn't be doing anything that's offensive um you shouldn't have any stickers or filters or weird things on your face we want to see what you look like now in a more relaxed picture than your eighth grade portrait then you can turn in one or more as many as you want photos from your early elementary years. And I'll show you how we use those at the back of the yearbook um, soon. You can su still submit candidates from this school year with uh, to the Google Drive photo that I sent out a while ago. And I'll show you that in a minute too. Um, we only have a few of those, so we need more. That's how we're gonna fill up the yearbook this year. Okay, now, when you have these pictures ready for me, you're going to upload them to our Google Drive folder. So you need to do this part online. You can't do it with one of the paper flyers, okay? So when you click on this, it's gonna bring you here. Now, Edwin, good job, Edwin, already turned in his four pictures. 
So he turned in an elementary school picture, a candid baby photo, and then a current selfie. And they're all really clearly labeled. Beautiful. Putting photos into these folders is really easy. All you have to do is click that link. It'll bring you right here. You click new, file upload, and it's going to bring you to um, one or another folder on your computer where you're going to have to find your photos. Now, right here in my downloads, here's a picture of me riding a lobster. So I'm going to upload that one. And there it is. Now, I think if you want to change the name of this, there I am. Right. If I double click on this or I right click on it, I can rename it and I can title it. Cool. Miss Branco riding lobster. So even if you upload your picture and it's not labeled, you can go back in and rename it. Make sure that you label your photos though, okay? You have to label it with your name and the description. Jane Doe, your name here, baby picture. Jane Doe selfie, Jane Doe early elementary. If you put them in that folder unlabeled, it's gonna be very hard for me to figure out who they are. And there's a chance they might not make it where they need to make it. Okay. If by some chance you can't submit your photos online and you have hard copies, you can leave them in my mailbox, but they are due Monday, March 1st. Okay. Now this is that folder that I included in that flyer. If you still want to upload candids, this was the email that you and your families received asking for any picture from this school year, inside school or outside of school, masks on, masks off. And right here, there is a link that will bring you to this folder. This is all of our candids and you don't have to label these. I know if you wanna upload like 20 at a time, it'll be annoying to label them. So you can just put these in here and that's fine. Um, this is, it looks like a lot of pictures, but this isn't gonna be enough to fill up our book. So I really need you to look through your pictures you've got from this year and send me as many as you can. Group shots, single shots, whatever. Please just send them my way. Now, last thing, I wanna give you a little look at what the yearbook looked like last year to give you a sneak peek at what I'm gonna do with your pictures. This page is the eighth grade candids page. Now we're gonna have more of these pages because we're not gonna have sports pages. We're not going to have um, some of the special events that couldn't happen because of COVID. So I need a lot of candids and we'll put these together to show all the awesome things that happened this year. And here's what your baby picture pages will look like. You'll have the picture of you. So cute. Then your current selfie. Next to that, you'll have your quote. Now, if you don't turn a quote into me, this part next to your picture is going to look pretty empty. So we want everybody to turn in a quote so that the book looks really nice and neat and full. Okay, next. This is how we're going to use all of your early elementary school pictures. These pages at the back are called through the years. So group shots look great, but we can also put in single shots. Send me any pictures that you have that are old. Just make sure that they are clear. Blurry pictures can't go in. Um, and please label them. This is the sponsor page, just so you can see what these look like. Um, if you add a very, very, very long message, the words are just going to be kind of small. Okay. Now this is all of the stuff that you need to do for the yearbook. So those four components, your quote, your sponsor form, which is optional. You've got the ordering instructions and then how to upload the photos. If you are having trouble with anything, please, please, please come to me sooner rather than later. Email me. Let me know because all of this stuff is due Monday, March 1st. Okay, good luck and thank you.